Hey, what's up everybody? Are you ready to create an amazing sci-fi render only using Blender? Because today we will take you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a stunning 3D model using the Displace modifier. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. First, we will clear everything on our report and add a icosphere. And go to edit mode by pressing tab and we will subdivide this five times and set the smoothness to one so that you get the round spear and right ahead we will add a modifier called displays and click on new and click this icon and set the type to the clouds and set the size to whatever you want i'm just um keeping it to 70 uh, 67 and decrease the depth to zero so that you get the curved edge and then we'll add another modifier and this modifier is gonna be decimate and once i start reducing the ratio you see we are losing the vertices and that's what we want because we want to make this uh, snake skin kind of picture and right now we are just increasing the size of the faces so i'm just going to keep it to 0.5 so as you know snake skin will have hexagon kind of shape so to achieve kind of shape you have to enable a certain add-on called tissue and once you enable the add-on uh, we're just going to press n and go to tissue but before we enable this side on i want you to click that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss uploads like this in the future so once you subscribe to our channel just press dual mesh and press ok and if you get this error just press ctrl z and save this where it's easily accessible i'm just going to save it to desktop and restart blender a few moments later now the blender is started and just open the file you just saved and we will press dual mesh click ok and now you can see we has created a, another mesh so we're just going to delete the default icosphere and as you can see we have hexagonal shape kind of texture it look, kind of looks like a, a snake texture and we're just going to go to edit mode press three on your keyboard and type at split <laughs> and select faces by edges and as you can see nothing happens because we have to add another modifier and that's called smooth modifier and as soon as you add a smooth modifier you get this kind of texture and it looks really really cool and you can play with the factor if you want to make it very small you can increase the factor if you want don't want the gaps to be that big you can just decrease the factor either way i'm just going to keep it to say 0 0.6 yeah and to make it even look good i'm just going to add another modifier that says solidify mm -hmm. and just increase the thickness so that it becomes thick and you get this kind of thing and I'm just going to rename this to snake because it looks like snake. And now we will create a, an armor. Yeah, not that armor. I'm talking about this armor. Yeah. To create that, we're just going to add a, another icosphere. We'll just subdivide this to the same amount. Give me five and smoothness to one. And again, we'll add a C modifier. Click on new, click on this icon. Now, set the type to clouds and set the same value as the snake. So I think I set it to 0.67. Yeah, and set the depth to zero. Now you can see it perfectly matches our, you know, our snake. And once it does, I just want you to go to um, Object Data Properties and click this plus cycle so that you get a group. Now go to Edit Mode. Make sure the all the vertices are selected of the icosphere. If not, 
just click somewhere else and press A so that everything is sorted and press assign over here now once you assign thing I'm just going to skid this up a little bit go to modifier and we'll add a modifier called what is weighted and when the word is group we're just going to select the group and expand the fall off set the type to custom curve and we're just going to bring this all the way down and the left one to all the way up and expand influence and click on click new on the master show and uh, make sure it's the same value as before and once you've done that we're just going to add a mask modify and select the vertex group as group and turn on smooth now when you increase the threshold you can see our icosphere is dissolving now just play with the threshold i'm just going to keep it to 0.5 and and after that we're just going to add a smooth modifier to make the edges smooth just play with the factor I'm just going to keep it to 0.5 and we'll add our last modifier and that is our wireframe modifier and you can see already it looks kind of you know well I'm kind of thing and to assure this I'm just going to print this in short so go to render mode make sure the render engine is set to cycles not EV and select the uh, select the snake go to material properties increase the metallic to all the way up and the roughness to 0.3 and our armor set the metallic to all the way up and the roughness to all the way down so that you get this kind of thing there's just yeah if you want you can play with the snake I'm just going to keep the roughness a little bit more and so set the color to dark so that it gives off gray kind of vibe and that's it if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for all the things see you soon in the next video thanks for watching guys